So this video gonna be unique because probably many a time you have already heard that how you earn very less than your CTC and you probably feel very disappointed here in this video I'm gonna tell you how you could earn more than your CTC and that also without doing any extra work only doing what the task your employer assigned to you and get those extra thing or benefit in your paycheck only so this video will gonna motivate you because more money so if this topic excites you please like my video and let's get started hey hello hi new people myself Rasdeep and I am an engineer at Intel so first of all quick disclaimer the thing which I'll tell you are true for most of the semiconductor giant and second is that the VLSI industry or the overall tech industry will keep on growing till eternity so these two are our assumption so we have three major area where we can earn more than our CTC and maximum of time or probably 100% of the time your offer letter never explicitly explain those three areas so let's first dissect the VLSI CTC because your CTC comprise of many factors few of the thing you probably have few you probably won't be having but for most of the semiconductor giant this CTC structure are same so first component is your signing bonus so as name suggests this is the amount which they will give you because you have joined their company and signing bonus is the main tool by which any employer actually inflate their CTC because signing bonus is one time and maximum of time you receive your signing bonus in your first payout and sometimes few company divide in equal to installment and they will give you in first paycheck and in the 12th or 13th paycheck and this is a civilized way to tell you that you are inside the bond they won't force you to sign any bond paper but because they will give you signing bonus in your first paycheck there would be one plus for sure that if you leave the company before 12 months then you need to pay back the whole sign-in bonus so sign-in bonus is a great way to retain the freshers in the company the second component and which is guaranteed that your CTC structure will have and you will receive that amount every month and that is your base salary so if your base salary probably 13 LPA which means 13 divided by 12 is your gross income which you'll make every month and then you need to deduct your tax and that is your net payment and then we have some other bonuses like annual bonuses quarterly bonuses and one thing we need to keep in mind that anytime you heard bonuses that means you can get that bonus or you can miss that bonus also dependent on your performance but the best thing is that these bonuses have some multiplier for your performance but the maximum multiplier are used which come from your company performance so that means if your company is doing great overall then your bonuses are for sure like there is no guarantee but still if we believe that VLSI company and VLSI giants will grow and will keep on growing then these bonuses are for sure you're gonna get and sometimes you get more than that bonus also because in your CTC they will tell you some amount by forecasting some growth factor in their company but if they grow more than that factor then they probably increase your bonus but don't worry this is not our three area where we can get more than our CTC because bonuses are really not certain so I am just ignoring this thing then the other component and that is RSU you probably thinking why it sizes more we will explain this thing and in the RSU only actually you will get first area where you can get more than your CTC how let me explain see RSU is a chunk amount for example 3 lakhs they will tell you will give you 3 lakhs of RSU stock so whenever you join your company so they will allocate you not the money 3 lakh but the amount of stock for example if your company stock cost 1000 at that day then for 3 lakh they will provide you how many stock 300 stock right and that 300 stock will be there for you and one trick they apply in the RSU again to retain the fresher is that they won't give you those RSU at the same day because the name suggests which is restricted stock unit 
so that means it is restricted and you can't sell at that day only they will assign some vesting period and generally it is four years so every year they will vest 25 percent of your stock units so in the first day only you have 300 stocks right and at a price of 1000 per stock but if you see the last four year or the history of all the tech company stock performance then you can see that they are increasing every day every month and after four years probably they become double the price so that means if they give you 300 stocks today of 1000 per stock and after one year they give you 25 percent stock they won't be costing 1000 but something more than 1000 and after four years probably they are costing double the amount so that means you got 3 lakh but actually you were getting of 6 lakh of worth. Yeah, I know downside is also there that but we are assuming that our company will do good and as an industry also VLSI or semiconductor keep on growing. So for sure the stock value will also grow. Then the another component and that is miscellaneous because in this inside this component of your CTC you will be having your relocation bonus which sometimes they will provide you hotel accommodation for 15 days one uh, month and some other benefits or sometimes they will directly pay you the money for relocation purposes and also they include your returning benefit like gratuity your eps amount those things so probably one or two lakh of your ctc amount will go to this uh, miscellaneous and then the most important thing and that is this unknown factor in your ctc which is maximum of time are not written in your ctc or if they say your ctc is x x amount but they won't calculate it into your ctc so if your ctc is 30 lpa then this factor is not considered so what are those and which is your refresher stock so this is the second area where you can go beyond your ctc in maximum of product based semiconductor giant they keep on giving this option and that is totally dependent on your performance but i am assuming you are not so genius but you are above average and if you are above average then for sure you will get this benefit of refresher stock so if your performance are as per average or above average you don't need to be incredibly good then also they will give you after completion of one year during your appraisal cycle a amount of stock and which is similar to rsu like it would be restricted only and they will tell you that this thing will be vested in the next four years again a way which they want to retain you but here one trick is that for example if they allocate you four lakh worth of stocks and generally it is vested in a four year cycle but hey every year again they will give you some more refresher stock so if we assume that each year they keep on giving you four lakhs of stock that means first year you will get a one lakh worth of stock vested second year because you have two offer four lakh four lakh so it would be two lakh then three lakh then four lakh and we are assuming that every year will get only 4 lakh worth of stock but in real sense it will be more than that sometime it will be 4 sometime it will be 6 10 lakhs and sky is the limit and here we'll also get that benefit of stock appreciation stock amount because here also they will allocate you units not the money so if you can hold that stock for a longer time four year five year then probably your value will become double triple that time so it's a great way to increase your ctc net ctc because if they're giving you four lakh worth of stock this year you will be thinking that these stocks would be vested in four years but actually this is your amount right so if your ctc is 30 lakh that means you can for sure add this four lakh to your ctc to make it to 34 because next year you will again get a special stock for sure but yeah if you leave your company in between for example after one year only you leave your company then you would be only getting a 25 percent of your stock other 75 percent of your stock would get wasted and a third part where you can again get more than your ctc and that is employee stock 
purchase option this could be in some different name in your company but this is there in every big company here they will give you some scheme that you can buy that company stock in some reduced price for example 85 percent if it is costing 100 per stock you can buy it in 85 rupees so straight away you are getting a 15 percent of benefit or 15 percent of appreciation to your amount so maximum of company fix the limit like 10 percent of your salary or 15 percent of your salary you can buy the company stock in the discounted price and then you can sell it anytime it is not restricted and sometimes they use some other scheme like like if you buy for 10 percent of your salary then we will add another 10 percent and we'll buy stock on behalf of you and these things are probably written in your ctc or, or in your offer letter but they are not added to your ctc which if it is 30 LPA it won't be written there so you can for sure add this 15% benefit and this 15% is minimum considering that some something very bad thing won't happen to your company but you can get more than that also sometimes people get 50% 60% appreciations also in their stock value when they buy it and when they sell it so if you add all th th these things to your ctc then actually actually you are getting a more way more than your ctc and i am not mentioning some other benefit like gift you get or sometimes they give you some amazon voucher 5000 voucher 10000 voucher there are many other benefit but i am not including those things because those are not so sure but these things are true for maximum of vlsi giant so now i have a question for you do you got any benefit from this video if your answer is yes then please subscribe it will take one second of your time but it will encourage me a lot lot if you want to know more thing about vlsi from your senior your form expert you can click here and if you want to know more way how you can make your cv strong you can click in this video and i'll see you in our next video till then tata bye bye